Hi there, young math whizzes. Ready for a multiplication challenge? Jump into our Math Quiz for Kids channel for 20 exciting multiplication questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe to join in on the fun. Question 1. 2 times 4 equals what? So the answer is, 2 times 4 is 8. To calculate, we have two groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Eight balls. Question two, two times three equals what? So the answer is two times three is six. To calculate, we have two groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Six balls. Question three, eight times seven equals what? So the answer is eight times seven is 56. To calculate, we have eight groups with seven balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 56 balls. Question four, six times three equals what? So the answer is six times three is 18. To calculate, we have six groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question five, seven times three equals what? So the answer is seven times three is 21. To calculate, we have seven groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 21 balls. Question six, six times eight equals what? So the answer is six times eight is 48. To calculate, we have six groups with eight balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question seven, three times three equals what? So the answer is three times three is nine. To calculate, we have three groups with three balls each one. So how many balls do we have? Nine balls. Question eight, two times six equals what? So,
So the answer is 2 times 6 is 12. To calculate, we have two groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question nine. Nine times five equals what? So the answer is nine times five is 45. To calculate, we have nine groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 45 balls. Question 10. 3 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 3 times 9 is 27. To calculate, we have 3 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 27 balls. Question 11. 8 times 5 equals what? So, the answer is 8 times 5 is 40. To calculate, we have 8 groups with 5 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 40 balls. Question 12. 7 times 6 equals what? So, the answer is 7 times 6 is 42. To calculate, we have 7 groups with 6 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 42 balls. Question 13. 6 times 2 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 2 is 12. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 2 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 12 balls. Question 14. 2 times 9 equals what? So, the answer is 2 times 9 is 18. To calculate, we have 2 groups with 9 balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 18 balls. Question 15. 6 times 5 equals what? So the answer is 6 times 5 is 30. To calculate, we have 6 groups with 5 balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 30 balls. Question 16. 
Eight times four equals what? So, the answer is, eight times four is 32. To calculate, we have eight groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 32 balls. Question 17, eight times six equals what? So the answer is eight times six is 48. To calculate, we have eight groups with six balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 48 balls. Question 18, four times four equals what? So the answer is four times four is 16. To calculate, we have four groups with four balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 16 balls. Question 19, two times five equals what? So the answer is two times five is 10. To calculate, we have two groups with five balls each one. So how many balls do we have? 10 balls. Question 20. Three times eight equals what? So, the answer is three times eight is 24. To calculate, we have three groups with eight balls each one. So, how many balls do we have? 24 balls. How many did you get right? We bet you did awesome. Remember, practice makes perfect. Don't forget to click the like button if you had fun and subscribe so you can join us for even more math quiz adventures. Let's keep the math magic alive.